against Pepe Sanchez and 15th ranked Temple next on ABC. ABC's College Basketball presented by Payne Weber and the big question at the shoe in Cincinnati is whether or not Pepe Sanchez is available for John Chaney and the Owls as they go against number one Cincinnati. Hello again everyone, John Saunders alongside Digger Phelps. A big question because without Pepe Sanchez, Temple is just five and three. With him, 14 and one, he will play. Yeah, we saw last week against Maryland of the 20 steals Temple had, Pepe Sanchez had nine, but he also had 11 assists. Kenyon Martin today will be packed in against that zone. They'll take him out of the game. A key factor in this game, Thursday night at Houston, Cincinnati only shot 48% on the free throw line. This could be the turning point of this game. Temple will not be intimidated. Keep this in mind. Last year in the NCAA tournament, they met in the first half of that game. Temple held Cincinnati to 18 points going on to that victory. Big part of that, Pepe Sanchez. The ankle is good. The wheel will go. And the man who runs the show for the Temple Owls be ready for the Bearcats. The Owls on a 10-game winning streak. But all morning here, we have been playing will he or won't he? Senior point guard Pepe Sanchez of Temple injured his left ankle against Dayton earlier this week. Coach John Chaney wanted to leave him out of the game. He worked out a short time ago. Clearly, it's a different team with him in the game. Brad Doherty, John had to show his hand 10 minutes ago. What did he decide? Quite a bit of gamesmanship going on here in Cincinnati, Brent. Coach Chaney, the past couple of days in the paper, had said that Pepe Sanchez probably would not play. I spent 20 minutes with him before the game. He said he didn't think he would play either. Lo and behold, Pepe Sanchez is starting today. He has a high ankle sprain of the left foot, but he's got a heart of a warrior. He's come to play today. Yeah, Brad and uh, Dick Vitale, he was moving well. He really did. You watched him in the warm-ups. It was a comfort zone. He was moving. He was shooting well. He had good bounce. They need him on the floor. He's their floor general. John Jenny would not take a chance and really jeopardize the big picture and play this young guy if he thought he was injured. He looks fine. They need him. And they're a different team, Brent, with him on the floor. Even with him. They got their hands full in this building. Well, yeah, because you're talking about a team that's won 42 in a row here. They're unbelievable. Kenyon Martin, my choice as national player of the year is a dominator on the inside. It's mandatory today for Temple to make the three-point shot. That means Karcher, Greer, and Wadley have to shoot the three and shoot it well. And the distributor, the guy that makes it happen, Pepe Sanchez. I think we're going to have a great game here. We've got another premier matchup. Mark Karcher of the Temple Owls. He is averaging better than 15 points a game, 10th in the Atlantic 10 up against one of the finest defensive players in the country, Pete Michael out of Rock Island, Illinois, the 6'6 senior. So keep an eye on that one. We've got a veteran officiating crew, and why not? This is a revenge matchup. Temple ousting Cincinnati by 10 in Boston in the second round last year, the third straight second round NCAA tournament loss for the Bearcats. So our officials for this one are big time. Tim Higgins, Larry Limbo, and Bob Donato, and we get ready to go. The Temple Owls in their traveling dark uniform. My friends, we're going to have a good one defensively. When you look at Temple, it's that matchup zone. You ready for this break? In the game they beat Cincinnati, they only allowed them 18 points at halftime in the NCAA tournament. Michael runs it down. Cincinnati with the game's first possession. And there's that matchup zone. Play a man in the area of the floor. Johnson bumped back outside beautifully. Quickly cross court to Kenny Satterfield, the freshman for the Bronx. It's going to be interesting to see how the young guards can attack this matchup zone. Kenyon with the game's first shot and the first miss. Battle loose ball comes up Temple. That's Clyde. Kevin Lyde, number 42, pulling it down and Puppy handles the ball. Clyde's been playing with a bad back, Brent, but he's been an outstanding rebounder, just not scoring on the interior. They take time with each possession, looking for the high percentage shot. He wants to play it down in the 60s. They missed their first shot, but they battle it back to Lyde, who's been very active in the early going. And now Karcher pulls the trigger. In and out. Satterfield rebound. Still scores. Cincinnati wants to beat you in transition, but Temple's an outstanding defensive team in transition. 
can really slow the game down with that matchup. When you and I had them here the other day against DePaul, they were running up and down the floor. Not today, my friends. You can't pull the trigger on that quick, easy shot against Temple. Satterfield will go for it, and he's off to the right. Ticker. And that's to the left. That's exactly what they want you to do in attacking that zone. And Archer, no block. Battle back underneath and slamming it down as Kevin Live. Brent, one of the factors here today, Temple will not be intimidated as so many teams are playing Cincinnati. There's a turnover forced by John Chaney's tremendous defense that he applies to his team. Sanchez out of Argentina. I think psychologically they really affect you here in some of the Satterfield. Picks Pepe Sanchez. Foot race. Satterfield for the layup. He's got super quickness from out of New York City. These Bearcat fans love this diaper dandy. Line. Beautiful. He's got great basketball IQ, a tremendous understanding of the concepts of the game. It's amazing. They only turned the ball over 9.7 times. That leads the nation, Temple. Also lead the nation in scoring defense. Tate has to kick it back out. The three is good by DeMar Johnson. That's the one way, my friends, to break the matchup. Shoot over the top of it. But they invite that shot. A lot of patience, a lot of poise, and a hopeful points. The three P's, Temple. Archer steps inside and pulls the trigger. He made five threes in the last game, beating a good Dayton team for the Atlantic 10, who will be in the big dance. They have a win over Kentucky. I think they play with your heads. In coaching, they really play with the mind so much, Temple, with that zone. They really have you thinking constantly you can't attack. Michael, he traveled. They're having trouble with it right now, but they really are having trouble attacking that matchup. It's very obvious. Wadley's first shot. Yes, it's the three. He can shoot the three. He and Greer are very capable. Greer will be coming off the bench. Wadley's so much more effective at the two spot than he is when he plays the point. I think there is just nothing going down low for Martin and Michael yet. Take. Yes. Takes them right in the gap. Former Ohio State Buckeye. What about that big win they had down at Bloomington last night? The Buckeyes. Oh, nice oh, backdoor nice cut. Archer on the cut. Execution, execution, execution. Offensively, they are so efficient with each possession. A lot of people say they bore you while they watch them play, but you know what? They get to the winner's circle. That locker room down there is usually a winner's locker room. There goes Martin. He's fouled on the shot. We'll come to the free throw line for a pair. We're talking about one of the most improved players in America offensively. You made a great point last week. 23 years of age. And what was it, 43 guys in the NBA are younger than him? 43 players in the NBA who contribute now. I'm not talking about uh, strictly bench jockeys who are younger than Kenyon Martin, who stayed with Coach Huggins for his senior year. And John Chaney telling me that he thinks Kenyon Martin is one of the most improved players in the country this year. Oh, he is offensively. Hey, Brad, let me ask you this. You played against matchup zones in your time. In fact, you played against Temple. What does the matchup do to a big guy on the inside? What you have to do as a big guy is you have to flash high, run around the free throw line, and try to get an entry pass there, step into the middle, and shoot short shots. You're not going to get a lot of opportunities for layups and dunks against him. Temple jumps out to an early lead, 11-9 here. We've got a timeout in Cincinnati. Let's see, Conge and Ford. We day. Brent, we're going to see the simple backdoor cut play right here. Freeze it right here. Freeze it. See, right here. We're going to watch the backdoor here, and he's staring at the ball, Martin. Doesn't see ball, you man. Now watch Karcher with the backdoor cut right behind Martin, and there he is, sneaks behind for the layup. And the steal by Cincinnati off the inbounds pass. They're trying to hurry the game along if they can. Get more possessions. Here's Martin down low, knocked out of bounds. 
That's a great point, partner. The bottom line is this game is going to be tempo, tempo, tempo. And if they can establish a fast pace, Cincinnati, that's their advantage. So far, Dick Temple is out rebounding Cincinnati four to one. That is a huge edge when you're trying to slow it down. Also, when you look at that Temple baseline, they got some physical presence in there with Lyde and Barnes and Karcher on the glass. Johnson, three no. They rebound want, Temple. It's a 5-1 rebounding advantage. They want you to shoot that shot. Look at the Open man underneath. Kinsu has to battle to save it. And here's Sanchez. And Huggins can't believe that there wasn't a turnover call. The three from the corner by Quincy Wadley. Wadley can flat out shoot the trifecta. I'll tell you, Cincinnati's got to lace them up. They got themselves a battle on their hands today. 42 in a row at stake, the second longest winning streak in America. Number one at stake. The runner, no good. Tate can't follow it up. Look at the control. Look at the control and the vision. Has great vision, Sanchez. Has that special instinct and knack and knowing where to give the basketball off. Here's Wadley, misses that three, but Sanchez with an offensive rebound. They are just dominating off the glass, but they turn it over, and now Huggins goes to his bench with Ryan Fletcher checking in. Fletcher will give him some perimeter shooting, so will Logan coming in, who could be a key factor in this game. He's a big-time, long-range shooter. The bottom line is definitely not hustled right now, Brent. They're not playing with that pizzazz and that spark we saw last Sunday. Because of Temple's defense. Exactly. That appears. Turns it over. Getting a little impatient. Wadley at the other end is fouled. He'll shoot a pair. Fletcher fouls him. And he's an outstanding free throw shooter. We look at the Atlantic 10 right now. There's only two teams that stand out. Look like a chance for the NCAA. Certainly Temple won and Dayton. Xavier got beat yesterday. And remember, Xavier in that cross-down rivalry is the team that beat Cincinnati earlier this year. I know you feel the same way I do. John Chaney belongs in the Basketball Hall of Fame. And those people up there should make sure that it happens. He's done a brilliant job in his tenure at Temple. They'd have to have the ceremony at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I love to hear him speak. He gave us a lecture down in the locker room. Brad Dari and I got a big time lecture. And Logan, Dick mentioned him. He checks in now, trying to get some firepower. Steve Logan misses at the free throw line, but Barnes has another move. A huge advantage. And they call a jump ball. Higgins does as Satterfield reaches back in. But Temple is out rebounding Cincinnati 8 to 1 in the early going. And that's amazing because Cincinnati, normally when you look at its people, are an outstanding rebounding team potentially. Look at this number right here. It tells you a big time story. When they rebound, they win. Greer on the floor for Cheney and traveling. That's four turnovers on the Owls. A little sloppy right now. And that's very rare. They got four turnovers and only averaging nine turnovers a game for this season. As Bobby Huggins working that sideline, fiery, emotional. He's got, as you say, an assistant football coach's mentality. Martin up firing. That's the part of his game that's gotten better and better. The big O told us today he's got to play facing a little bit more. That's right, Oscar Robertson came over and talked to Brent and I about the progress of Martin. Davies bear cat of them all. Some say maybe the greatest ever to play the game. Karcher. Yes, a two. It's a two. Karcher's got scoring ability inside and outside. Yeah, they match up. They never give you gaps and seams like most zones do. Satterfield, the three. No. Rebound, Cincinnati. And Michael will shoot a pair. Peter Michael trying to attack the glass, trying to get into a gap. But they can't block out on that matchup. Michael did a defensive job on Quentin Richardson last Sunday, as you alluded to earlier. He locked him up. He was like the Yale man. He just locked him up. 
What are the Warriors in college basketball? I think three guys that really epitomize playing hard all the time and are so physical, Matson, Michael, and your favorite, Chris Carroll. Has his hands full here today. Huggins is matched against some big size down on the low blocks. A very well coached matchup zone. I got to tell you right now, folks, into the NCAAs, I would not want to play John Chaney's Owls this year. I've watched them in person now for about eight minutes, and this is a good looking basketball team. Well, they're five and three without Sanchez, and if the committee factors that in, this club is definitely. Turn it over, and here comes Martin with a chance. Yes. And that's what's going to happen. They're going to make things happen with their full court pressure. They're going to speed up the tempo of the game. They're going to a full court track. They want you to get out of that poised, patient offense and rip them down the floor. Sanchez wanted a foul, he doesn't get it. The crowd is alive, trying to spark them. Puppy Sanchez fade away short. Fletcher. Not a good shot. I don't think that's a shot they would like in their offensive system. For the lead. How difficult it is to penetrate that temple armor. Always have a hand in your face on every shot attempt. Out of field to Martin, knocked away and fouled. See, that's the way you want to attack that matchup. You want to try to find a gap, dribble penetration, create the opportunity and dump the ball off. Satterfield made that happen for the player of the year, Mr. Martin. See that penetration, dribble penetration, and then kick it out. When I look right now across America, I think my top three guys for player of the year would be Kenyon Martin, Troy Murphy of Notre Dame, who was sensational last night, getting 35 for the Irish, winning game by two over Seton Hall and Chris Carrowell. The building is loaded with NBA scouts. One of the reasons why they're here is they want to see what Martin does against this Temple defense today. They know how tough the Temple Owl defense can be on a prospective NBA player. And they are really taking a close look at Kenyon Martin here today. We'll take a break right now. 11.29 to go in the first. Temple has dictated this game, but we are tied now at 16. I'm too sexy. I'm too sexy. I'm too sexy for the drive through And I'm too sexy for my car seat. Too sexy for the groceries. Too sexy for the dry cleaning. Introducing the newly updated Camry. So stylish it could go to your head. I'm too sexy for the slow lane. Too sexy for the neighbors. Too sexy for the car wash. Mm. Sexy. At BASF, we don't make the sunscreen, we make it stronger. We don't make the tennis shoes, we make them grip better. We don't make the jacket, we make it brighter. We don't make the carpet, we make it tougher. At BASF, we don't make a lot of the products you buy, we make a lot of the products you buy better. BASF. Why? Why? It is a small word, but it is a quick, you sharp, broach. and abrupt word. Why? It is the chosen word of the nonconformist, the defiant, and the visionary. Why? It is a confrontational word. Why? It challenges what's thought to be impossible. If you are not afraid to ask why, why? You can change whatever it is you want. at Pep Boys? Yeah, I did. I appreciate it. Pep Boys for quality parts and brake service from $69.99. No rebate necessary. Pep Boys. Cars like us. People love us. America's finest skaters in a one-of-a-kind ABC sports event. No rules, no judges, just skating. The Chevrolet Skating Spectacular, next on ABC. 
tied at 16. Let's take you inside why Cincinnati is ranked number one. Why they've got that long winning streak. You know the Temple Owls they protect the basketball fewest in the NCAA this year and today they've already turned it over five times against Cincinnati. So they are matched against another talented defense. Now we want to show you we have a great contrast two very active coaches Huggins of Cincinnati there on the left John Cheney and that uh, referee Higgins bending down to speak with him. We've got the action there in the middle. You can watch the two coaches and they're both very active on the sidelines they are both very vocal as they watch the play unfold and both guys really the personalities spread to their teams the teams reflect their personality battlers never battle back down a bunch of warriors on the floor Archer in the corner no off take got it for Cincinnati down they come to the lead now Satterfield tries to run the floor here's Logan no Rebound Temple one and out. Quick pass. Karcher touch pass over to the corner. Greer fires. Got the three. What a nice look by Karcher. He gets over to Greer who can flat out shoot the rock. Last year was out all year. Had an injury. Great feel right there. Karcher had the awareness to know where his teammate was along that baseline. The alley -oop pass in a little bit too far. Fletcher back up though. I like Fletcher. What an outstanding player to bring off the bench. He gives you inside outside ability. Good move by Bobby Huggins going to pressure. He's trying to speed up the tempo. He wants a faster pace game. Greer's going to go again. He got it again. He's automatic, Brent. He's automatic. He's going to get a T.O., baby. And Huggins, Look at Huggins furious with his defense in that. They're going to yank him right out of the game. Oh. So an intimate look. At two very good coaches. Timeout. Captain Jim McConnell and his crew are about to discover on Mars the origin of life on Earth. Somebody put that thing there, it's not us. That DNA looks human. And begin the greatest adventure of their lives. What are we here for if not to take chances? Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 10th at a theater near you. dedicated to helping you become your best. The premier online sports store, MVP.com. I'm always coming up with great new promotions for 7-Up. Like this one. I ask people to send me pictures of their cans. Let's take a look. Oh! <laughs> look like two big Christmas hams. <laughs> Look at the backyard on this fella. <sighs> that about ends the uh, first annual 7-Up Show Us Your Can contest. Next time I'll be more specific. Mom? A network premiere. I am your son. They kidnapped his child. That was their first mistake. Mel Gibson. Give me back my son! Ransom, ABC Monday at 8, 7 Central. Temple will be very tough to deal with if they continue to shoot 60%, my friend. Well, also shooting 60% and they're beating Cincinnati down the floor. And also, they always have a hand. See, like that? A hand in the face. They never give you the open shot. I got a question for our guy, Brad Doherty. You and I were never in this position. I wonder what it's like when you're going to potential number one pick and all the scouts are here. How does it affect you, Brad Doherty? I think you just have to continue to play your game. Obviously, it affects you some because you realize your, your future's ahead of you. But when you're 22, 23 years of age, this is the best time of your life, and you got to realize it. Have fun and play the game. Thank you, Mr. Darder. I never had that happen for me. And 
Cincinnati turns it over. Sanchez on a bad pass, a rare mistake, and Tate's got it back. And Temple not protecting the ball. Cheney will be unhappy about that. Yeah, too many turnovers right now for Temple. Logan's three short off the iron, but right to Satterfield. Tried to penetrate. Back to Martin. Missed on an open shot. Had the look. I ask you one question. How many layups have we seen out of Cincinnati thus far today? How about zero? How about zero? Zippo, my friends. No layups at all. They give you nothing easy. you got to work for it. Three did not get the roll and into the hands of Logan. Now Logan's capable of making that perimeter shot. So you don't want to keep Martin away from the basket. Remember, Cincinnati only had 18 points at the half last year in Boston in the NCAA Regional second round. With nine minutes left in the first half here. Tate far away for the basket. Ten on the shot. Johnson comes right baseline and takes it. He's got big time talent. He's multi-dimensional. He can play on the inside, outside. He's an outstanding wing potential player. He, Karcher, and Ride all played together in Washington on DC Assault Team, coached by Curtis Malone. Keaton Sanders also on the floor for Temple. In fact, he took that last shot. That's three that did not bounce in. He's a good athlete. Very physical. Here's Greer's three. Long range on the money. They are five of seven, and Greer with three of them. I love the way Greer spots up and shoots the jump shot. He's got the great release, the follow through, a world of confidence. Attacking a little bit more on the inside. They're playing with the ball too much on the perimeter, side by side, and the defense can adjust easily. Satterfield's got to get it to Martin faster also. Take. Satterfield now penetrates. That's what you got to do. Oh, the jam by Jermaine Tate. That's the way you attack it, Brent. You attack the gap. You dribble, penetrate. Temple leads it 25-22. My friends, we are seeing two clubs that are going to make so much noise during March Madness. Here, foul by Satterfield. And you and I were talking off the air. I guarantee you, if Sanchez had been there healthy all year long, Temple would be at least the number two seed. His first team, second. Well, we've got a timeout. Satterfield into Tate's hands. I think the market's going to go up 20% next year. What are the Tickets, numbers? folks. I'm out. I keep reading about tax-efficient investing. Should I be doing that? Anybody else seems to. Oh, let's see. Rates are falling. Inflation's low. More stocks or more bonds. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, man. Look at this. Investment strategies for you. Great. Just for me and five million other people. Thank you, Payne Weber. How do you enhance a V8 engine that produces 245 horsepower? A chassis that can haul up to 2,000 pounds? Or brakes that have four piston calipers? Simple. Add about six pounds of steel. Toyota Tundra, Motor Trend Truck of the Year, and four-wheel and off-road magazines 4x4 of the year. be a good time to talk about the Michelin X1. Thanks to Michelin technology, it gives you long mileage and better wet braking than any rain tire. And that should make everyone on a wet road happy. Mom, Dad, if I'm paying rent, I gotta have a better breakfast than this. Mark. I know there's some dietary restrictions at the table, but no way. What would you like, Mark? Potatoes, sausage, eggs. Would you like me to serve that to you in a nice warm skillet? <laughs> that would be great. What does this look like? A holiday inn? <laughs> Want a better breakfast? Try our award-winning best for breakfast menu in today's Holiday Inn. Tim Allen, Piranha, returns to ABC in the wildest <laughs> network premiere movie. Ow. Jungle to Jungle, ABC Tonight at 7, 6 Central.
Brent, sometimes when you look at this matchup, it has a gap in it. Right here is the gap. See, he wants to dribble in here and get the diagonal maneuver down to the baseline. And watch Satterfield now. He attacks the gap, and now they got a two-on-one. He brings the big guy toward him, and he's the 3D man. He drives, draws, and dishes the rock. Take a look at those numbers right there. Score and defense. Temple, the leader, but look at the other teams. Princeton, Butler, Wisconsin, and Stanford. How good is Stanford? You see what they did to California last night? Beat them by 50! Beat them by 50! They are a contender. Oh, they're for real, Mike Montgomery's club. Are they for real? So you go to half court, trying to go to a trap to try and speed up the game. And Sanchez is out for the first time here today. So Wadley now, less comfortable on the point. And it is still Temple's basketball. Well, talking to the writers that cover the team, Michael Kern and company, the Philadelphia Daily News, he said they're such a different basketball team that they struggle to get the ball up the court without Sanchez. And Cincinnati's going to turn up the, turn it up. Wadley forces one. He just doesn't shoot well when he's at the point. I think he shot about 18% in those eight games that Sanchez missed completely because of an injury to the other rank. You're exactly right. He shoots better than 40% when Sanchez is on the floor distributing the ball to him. So we'll have to keep a separate score here, Dick, as to what happens to the team score when Sanchez is out of the game because obviously it's a different looking Temple offense. We well, saw that. Plus three with seven minutes to go when he went out. Cincinnati's basketball, and we got a quick reminder, Saturday, ABC brings you some of the fastest skaters on the planet. Jennifer Rodriguez and the other stars lead the way as the top qualifiers from Asia, Europe, and North America compete in the World All-Around Speed Skating Championships Saturday at 1 Eastern and Pacific on ABC. ABC Sports, by the way, is online at ESPN.com. Here is Kenyon Martin handling the ball in the corner, trap out. And making him kick the ball out as soon as he goes inside. The double team in Martin and really cutting off any angle that he has to drive to the basket. They run the ball out of his hands. Crutcher's field goal was wide right. John Chaney four times to the final eight. 1988, 91, 92, and 99. So close. Yeah, yeah. The first shot clock because it's always kicked out of bounds. Martin, and he is handled down low that time. In fact, he is stuffed. You can't believe it. That hasn't happened too often to him this year. Barnes is a very physical player as well on the inside. Has stepped up his game the last three games. He's been a little up and down most of the year. Wadley just not struggles on the point. Just not comfortable out there, yeah. Brent. Not in the comfort zone. Here comes Greer penetrating, driving left hand and Hello. He's a human eraser. Johnson. Defender falls. Foul call before the shot. What an enforcer inside. Mr. Moore, the all-time shot blocker at the University of Cincinnati, was a dominator on a defensive end for three years, but now has stepped up to become an offensive scoring whiz as well. 97 blocks coming into this game. Had another big game in their recent W over Houston, where they had a big lead of 19 and allowed Houston to get back. And guess who sparked them? The Iceman's son. Yeah, somebody. Pete Gervin, yeah, the Iceman's son. Said he looked good. Yes, sir. Shoot, shot the ball like his daddy. I'll tell you, they didn't shoot too many guys shot like his daddy. <laughs> For sure. Oh, wow. Limbo quickly steps in as Sanchez, who has returned from the bench, was trying to establish position in there. He was getting a little bit physical. You can watch Sanchez take a wide stance down in that block area defensively. He's a tough kid as well. He's great hands, one of the leaders for steals. Not there, but Kenyon Martin battling away, and he's tied up underneath. Cincinnati basketball on the possession arrow. Just not having his way on the inside like he's had most of this year. Every time he's touching the ball, he's not being, he's being challenged consistently. Another club that can really challenge Cincinnati, Michigan State. Timeout. So they cannot get it inbounds against the Temple pressure, and they will go over and talk about it with Coach Huggins. I'll tell you, there's a lot to cheer about in this city. They're all excited here. Baseball, certainly with, right now, Ken Griffey coming to town. I can't wait to go to Sarasota tomorrow, Brett. He reports, he reports to Sarasota. Talked to his dad the other day. His dad was like absolutely on cloud nine. 
And coming up on the autobytel.com halftime report, John Saunders and Digger Phelps will be in our studio and they'll tell you about the Oklahoma Kansas game, Big East action, and uh, how many in for Conference USA. You know, we mentioned some of the scouts and Jerry Krause is oh, yeah. here from the Chicago Bulls. He made a big trade. Of course, he has the Golden State Warriors number one pick if it's not in the top three. And Elton Brand was his first pick last year. And as I have said here the last couple of weeks, I think Elton Brand's going to become the rookie of the year in the NBA. And Krause is clearing cap money by getting rid of Tony Kukoc. And that helps Philadelphia tremendously. Gives him another option to go to along with Iverson down the stretch. So the 76ers help themselves for all you fans back in Philadelphia. And uh, over to the corner comes Satterfield on the drive. Yes, nice move. He's a quick penetrator. New York City phenom last year. They got three great point guards in the city this year. All going to the Big East. Brad Doherty, what's the latest on Karcher? Not there. Rebound. Barnes knocked away. But Mike, Mark Karcher has two fouls, Brandon. It's kind of uh, John Chaney's custom not to let his players back into the game, so we probably will not see him for the rest of the first half, and there's five minutes left, a lot of basketball. That's a big-time scorer sitting on that sideline. That seems to be the philosophy now, Brandon. Many of the coaches, you get two fouls, you come out. I think you got to play the scoreboard a little bit as well. Tate sits down. You know who's been under wraps here today? Pete Michael. Hasn't taken a shot yet, Dick. Yep, been under wraps. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sanchez bumps, no, no. Lindo waves it off. Foul before the shot. And that was a good foul, not to allow him to get to the basket, to dunk, to create unbelievable hysteria. See, he wanted to explode to the goal, but it's a good foul. He gets him out here. Smart move by Sanchez. Don't let him get to the basket, jam, and get this crowd in a frenzy. The one thing that they do well, Temple, because of the matchup, they don't put you on a foul line a lot. You look at the numbers statistically, you don't get many foul opportunities. Turned it over. Full court pressure. Going to try to invite him to a trapping area. Wadley bringing it up and uh, they took Sanchez off the ball on this trip and uh, oh, he got fouled. Got fouled by Preston. He was kicked by Michael and he is down. Year in and year out, I know coaches really wait when they look at that draw and they hope and pray they don't see Temple on their side. They don't want to. There's the little, he gets him up in the air. See, he freezes him, gets him up in the air. And then the contact. You made a great point off the year. And playing them in the second round, how tough it is because you don't have time to prepare for that matchup. Exactly. Goes over to Cincinnati. I guess the big question a lot of people probably have out there, if John Cheney is so effective with that matchup, why don't most coaches play it? And why don't they use it? Because it's very difficult to teach the discipline that's involved in playing the cutters against the matchup. Look at the shooting percentages. Here's Logan, the three, rattled out. Temple has been very quiet over the last few minutes. Their lead is one. So they've had problems here. They've had a four-minute drop, as a matter of fact. Well, Cincinnati doing a great job defensively. Bobby Huggins' teams are well drilled on a defensive end, go a different defense. Man, Lamont man. Barnes ends the drop. He's a good baseline player. He's been a little up and down, a little Dow Joneser earlier in the year, but the last three games has stepped it up. Fletcher kicks it back out to Logan, but a little bit high, and Kenyon Martin steps outside. There it is. Oh, has he improved that shot? Has he improved his offense? Oh, yes. Is he going to be a name that we're going to hear consistently during March Madness? Kenyon Martin. Will Cincinnati be able to get to the Final Four? Krause and the other scouts took note of that. As Wadley comes back, misfires, and now Martin. Here's the baseball pass. Got Johnson on the wing. Fires. Yes. That's a big one. The three. That's a big one. Beat him in transition to the open spot. Jumping with joy in Cincinnati, and it's not for a Griffey home run. It's 
the hoops, baby, hoops. Greer. Oh, yes. yes. He's four of four from oh. three-point land. Oh, we got a good one, Mr. Musburger. We got a good one. This might be a mailbox smasher. We are shooting right over the top of the defense. Satterfield kicks to Fletcher off the fake. Comes baseline blocked. Temple basketball. Kevin Lied, the big guy inside. An enforcer. So we've got a timeout, and there's one man who has quieted this crowd repeatedly for John Chaney on this timeout. And that, of course, has been Greer, who has been perfect from three-point land here today, four of four. You know, Brandy told me he loved his team in 1988 with Macon and Tim Perry and company, but he said if this team had a healthy Pepe Sanchez all year long, as much as he loved the 88 team, this team was as good, that it has all the components, the parts. It's physical, it can shoot from the perimeter with certain players, and it's got the great floor leader in Sanchez. There's the One. baseball pass. Then it was Greer. Right up over Logan, if you will, and quieting the crowd. Great performance out of Greer here in the first half. Those are the things that have to happen, making those threes if you're going to try to pull the upset on the road against the number one team in the nation. Sanchez double puts his dribble up, and he is fouled. He Bad foul on Jermaine Tate. But he created that opportunity by trying to split the guys. Rather than stay in that trapping situation, he used his great basketball IQ to split the trap. Huggins not happy, saying what happened at the other end. He won't win it. Time out. If you can't stop here... Stop here for genuine Midas Breaks. Now just $69.95 after rebate. Guaranteed nationwide for as long as you own your car. Next stop, go Midas. Freedom. Control. What a ride. Just you and your laptop. Log on to autobytel.com for dealer cost info, reviews, and a low, no-haggle price. It's a hassle-free trip. Autobytel.com. The road to your next car. When you coach the junior gymnastics team, you do most of the exercise. So muscle legs are out of the question. That's why I take Advil every time. This is a very safe sport, as long as I can keep up. So I trust Advil. Absolutely nothing's been proven stronger in even tough pain. Good. These kids depend on me, and I depend on Advil. Advil, stronger than pain. And for kids, nothing relieves fevers faster than children's Advil. A collect call. Who are you? I'm the 1 800 collect advice guy. Use 1 800 collect and save the people you call a buck or two. 1 800. How about a C? O L L E T. Can't spell collect without a T. Oops. Thanks. Use 1 800 collect. Save a buck or two. Did you know the half million dollar answer? You're right. Stephanie Girardi did and walked away a winner. Catch an all new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC.
Well, the Cincinnati Bearcats are number one in the country, but when we travel into ACC land, we hear from a lot of those writers, and wait a minute, Huggins doesn't graduate any players. What's with that program over there? You know, we hear that all the time, but right here, Huggins gave me a list. This is for Bill Brill down here. Yesterday in the press room, he was all over. He says, I don't want to hear about Huggins. He doesn't graduate players. Hey, Bill, he's graduated 15 of them. He said it right here. They got a list for him. He wants me to mail it to you. And also, he said, you know what happens? Junior college players, it's unbelievable. If you're a junior college kid and you come to college and graduate, it doesn't count. I think that is absurd and ludicrous. We got a good one here. It's 30-29. Temple with a one-point lead in the basketball. Michael with great interior defense on live. Just wouldn't let him have the basketball that time. Well, he can defend. There's no doubt about it. He's one of the premier defenders in America. He's got to step it up offensively, though. Cincinnati has played extremely well defensively also in this half. We sort of forget about them and worry about the matchup zone. Wadley did not get the bounce back up again. Barnes trying to keep it in play. Cincinnati basketball. They force you to play good defense, Temple, because you know on the other end, points are not going to come easy. And Cincinnati is a premier defensive team. This trips for the lead. Yes! Oh, yes, he's stepping up. Gerard Johnson. DJ is stepping it up. 6'8", diaper dandy, one of my super seven diaper dandies. The best in the nation that my award would be Jason Gardner from out of Arizona. Now Temple for the tie. Is that matchup? Good man-to-man -man defense. Bring it down inside of a minute. They've got to be very aware of Greer. He's perfect from three-point range here in the first half. Happy Sanchez to the baseline. Pulls the trigger. No. Cincinnati. Kenyon Martin on the drive. Hits Johnson again inside for the layup. And he shows his versatility. We just seen him shoot a trifecta. And now we see him in transition. He was rated one of the premier high school players in America last year, Brett Musburger, and they love him in Cincy. Oh, they love him. He scored 13 points here against Temple. He's 5 of 7 from the field, Johnson is. They're getting up to the bow on his side, going to the locker room. Six set difference. Cincinnati all over the floor defensively. They have answered the challenge here in the first half. They have responded on the defensive end of weights. Greer again, yes! Oh, he's 5 of 5 from three-point land in the first oh. half. One-point game at the buzzer, Lynn Greer. What a show by Mr. Greer shooting the rock, Mr. Musburger. Six we are one, a sophomore from Philadelphia's Engineering and Science High School. And we have a dandy <laughs> brewing in Cincinnati. It's halftime. John Saunders and Digger Phelps will be coming up next. NCAA basketball presented by Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by Bex, a beer apart. And 1-800-COLLECT, the easy way to save. We'll be back with the Autobytel.com halftime report after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Freedom. Control. What a ride. Just you and your laptop. Log on to Autobytel.com for dealer cost info, reviews, and a low, no haggle price. It's a hassle-free trip. Autobytel.com, the road to your next car. Advanced Auto Parts presents part number 16. Larry, our battery expert. Larry installs more Autocraft batteries in a day than most people do in a lifetime. No matter what you drive, Larry will make sure you get the right battery for your car. 92 Accord? Yeah. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. In our family, men lose their hair early. Dad. Thank you. By the time we hit 30, we don't have to invest much in combs. So I started using Rogaine when I was like 28 at the first sign of fallout. Before I looked like I needed it, because I knew I would. So here I am. I've been using Rogaine for about two years now, right at the source of the problem, and I don't see any difference. And that's the idea, you keep the hair you have. Look, I love my dad, 
I'm just not in a rush to look like them. Simple, safe, smart. Rogaine, it's stronger than heredity. On an all-new practice. What happened? They tried to rape me. He's rotten in prison for a murder he didn't do. We did everything. This is the case that will question one lawyer's actions. What have you done, Jimmy? The practice tonight, 10, 9 central on ABC. Tiger Woods, David Duvall, Colin Montgomery, Sergio Garcia, Ernie Els. The top 64 golfers in the world compete in dramatic single elimination match play. The World Golf Championship, Saturday at 2 on ABC. Ladies and gentlemen, the Temple Owls. What are your predictions for Temple? Well, it's looking real good. Criminal Justice Major and Fencer, Kathy DeMarco. The pre-med superstar, Nicole Viscomi. She's a great win for the Temple team. Honor student and future sportscaster, Levin Townsend. If you want to see smart students, this is the place. Future software engineer, they say one's weather's beastly. Oh, how lovely. They say one's cuisine is simply unspeakable. <laughs> oh, yummy. But there's one thing they say which is absolutely bang on. One's television is brilliant. If one wants the best of British television on BBC America, one gets Direct TV. And now local channels are available by subscription on Direct TV. Visit your Best Buy store today. One wants one's BBC. Better be on Direct TV, Madden. Quite. Rosie's Backstage Pass. Third watch. Next Rosie. Welcome to the Autobytel.com Halftime Report. Here now, John Saunders and Digger Phelps. And welcome. We hope you're enjoying your game. And those of you in the Big 12, you know that Kansas has a lead over Oklahoma right now. So let's go to the highlights. Kansas is a team that's lost five of their last eight, which is hard to believe. And they haven't lost two in a row at home since 88-89. Roy Williams' first year in danger today. The ball, Johnson picks it up, knocks down the jumper. Kansas is up by two. And then off the Oklahoma miss, Heinrich gets it to Johnson who throws it down and Kansas going on a little run here up 14-12. 14-12 but comes back to where they have seven turnovers in the first seven minutes. They can't jump out on Oklahoma. Another missed shot. Jeff Boshi picks it up, takes it to Drew Gooden who loses it but Kenny Gregory then comes up with a loose play. James loose ball jam. You said he was important. They had to have him. He looks good in the first half. And right now Kansas is a 27 to 23 lead and We've talked about the problems with the Jayhawks. Even though they have the lead in this game, just having a terrible time scoring. You get frustrated as a coach when you lose at home. A tough game against Iowa State, 64-62 at home Wednesday night. Now you're over anxious, and, and that's what's happened. The turnovers, they miss easy chippies inside. But the other side of it is when you can take Raymond and Nahara and they go four for 15, that's a plus. So Kansas right now struggling trying to blow this game open. They can't get that big run. It's a plus. However, consider this for Oklahoma. They're only down by four without their big guns right. doing it, so the second half should be better. Some of you watching Temple against Cincinnati. This one has been a classic early on in this game. Intensity, the Bearcats trying to remain at number one. Temple trying to knock them off for the third straight time. Pepe Sanchez, they didn't think he could play. As a matter of fact, John Cheney didn't want him to play with a bad ankle. He did. It was a good thing. He finds Karcher. And yeah, Karcher shot no good. Strong slam dunk. Uh, Lie gets it, jams it down. Temple grabs the early lead. Next trip down the floor, it's Pepe Sanchez again, takes it to the hole and scores over Kenyon Martin. The Owls up by two. Sanchez then to Karcher in the back door, and Temple has a four point lead. But Sanchez, rare for him, turns the ball over. Kenyon Martin pulls up with the jumper, and the Bearcats pull within one. But then Lynn Greer was deadly from the outside, knocking down an NBA range three pointer. Temple had a five point lead. Jermaine Tate then takes the pass, goes in, jams it down. Temple's lead is now down to three. But Damar Johnson put on a show. Great clinic. A big long three. He was almost on the Temple bench when he shot that thing. Damar and Johnson, 13 points in that first half. Cincinnati has grabbed a 34 to 33 lead. When you look at this score as a coach, you're John Chaney or you're Bob Huggins. You like the pace of the game right now or you dislike it? Chaney's happy. Trust me, they're happy. And I'll tell you the reason why. They did a great job of Kenyon Martin not getting him off to a big start where he had, usually can get a double-double in the first half. So the zone has worked that way. The second factor is Cincinnati's had only three offensive rebounds. And the other factor, even though Temple had five early turnovers, they're still in this game. And Lynn Greer, who last Sunday had 14 points the last 10 minutes of the Maryland game, 
He's the guy that kept this game close, hit that big three at halftime. They come to play Temple Owls. Second half is coming up. Those of you not seeing that game, we, of course, will keep you up to date on that one here on the autobytel.com halftime report. Rutgers and Villanova. Nova gets it done. 82-70 to 70 is the final here. Rutgers 0-4 all-time at the Pavilion. Bench points for the Wildcats, 27-5. to 5. Don't forget, big Monday coming up, Digger. UConn and St. John's, what a matchup that one promises to be. Missouri's got two straight home losses, and yet yesterday against K-State, 14 for 33, shooting the threes. But St. John's, Connecticut, this will be a war tomorrow night. ESPN, big Monday, live and well. Vegas, Utah, Utah lost to Vegas' a payback game. All right, if you missed this from yesterday, you missed a great one in the Big 12 between Iowa State and Colorado. Marcus Pfizer makes the foul shot to this increase the lead to three. Jack Way Walls, just take a look at this, Digger. Hold on. It ain't over until it's over, over time. He has 13 points in a 10-minute span, a three-minute span. He just turned his game on in overtime. Iowa State had won 19 of 20. In the OT again, it's Walls, the guy you talk about, pulls up with a J, gets the roll. Colorado wins it 102 to 90. Walls with 42 points in the game. And boy, does this stop the momentum of Iowa State. <laughs> Yeah, but Iowa State's still Iowa State. And Colorado, of course, they beat Oklahoma at home when Oklahoma was ranked. So they're a solid team. But right now, there's six teams, as we look at, in the Big 12 that I think have a legit shot. This game today between Oklahoma and Kansas, what you're playing for, you don't want to end up, yeah, we got in. But don't be an 8-9 seed because you can play yourself right out in the first or second round. All right, our second halves are coming up. Kansas and Oklahoma Temple and Cincinnati here on the Autobytel.com Halftime Report. For Digger Phelps, I'm John Saunders. We'll keep you up to date on all the games and enjoy the second half. I've known this guy five minutes. He's already giving me investment advice. For a recommendation on your portfolio, please press three. I'm going to pay for this. What was I Should thinking? my 401k be all stuff? Should my 401k be all cash? Why didn't they write this last month? My portfolio should be overweighted in game companies. Got Why does this guy think what works for him? It's going to work for me. Thank you, Payne Weber. Oh, I should have used Preparation H. Cool it fast with Preparation H Cooling Gel. Cools on contact for fast relief. Preparation H Cooling Gel cools on contact. Why is it that no matter where you are in the world, there is always a place for people to come together. When you think about it, it's simple. Humans are a social bunch. We need each other. That's why we are doing what we can to make it easier for the human race to stay united. What makes our chicken strip dinner so much fun? Because you can dip them. Bingo. Dip, dunk, and dive them in lots of country gravy with Texas toast, fries, an onion ring, even a cold drink, all for a special low price. Sonic America's driving. Starting to feel a little cramped by your present surroundings? Maybe it's time to expand your horizons. Maybe it's time to think about Remax. Remax Associates lead the real estate industry, averaging more experience and more sales than other real estate agents. Remax can help you find a new home that meets all your needs while selling your current house to someone who will find it absolutely perfect. If you're looking for results, look for Remax. Nobody sells more real estate. occurs in February, which is the shortest month of the year. Not only is it the shortest month, but brothers and sisters had to struggle to get it up from Black History Week. And I'm surprised it wasn't Black History Minute. Oh, I'm supposed to be happy because it's a leap year? Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, let's take this time and look back on the struggle. I'm gonna say my This is what I call affirmative action. 28 days, I, I want a regular month. See, this is the new Black History Month. 42 days, 42. Jackie Robinson's number. February, Black History Month. 
This is the AutoBuyTel.com halftime report. A one-point game. The nation's number one team leading Temple 34-33. It was a one-man show for the Owls. Lynn Greer, five of five from three-point range. This is a young man who knows how to score in Philadelphia Public League history. He had 1,991 points, second only to the legendary one from Overbrook, Wilt Chamberlain, who established that record back in 1955. But can he keep it up? We're about to find out. Time out again. This halftime report brought to you by AutoVitel.com, the road to your next car. Stay tuned for the second half after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Freedom. Control. What a ride.